Hello and welcome to College Week Live Open House with Miami Dade College. I'm Erica Redman, Director of Recruitment for the Healthcare Programs here at the Medical Campus. I'm delighted that you have joined us today to talk about the various programs and opportunities available in the School of Nursing and the School of Health Sciences. During this presentation, please feel free to ask questions as well as follow along with the PowerPoint that I've provided. As you know, healthcare is a growing industry and healthcare workers are a vital part of our community's needs. Here at the medical campus, we prepare our students for this growing industry by offering programs that will satisfy those specific healthcare needs of our community. As we take a look at the programs, we'll start off first in the School of Health Sciences. Now at Miami Dade College at the medical campus, we offer short-term certificate programs as well as degrees. I'm going to first of all talk with you about our short-term programs. These are for students who are interested in starting out in the profession, getting some experience and exposure, and making sure that this is the right fit for them. We want to make sure that our students not only are dedicated to the profession, but they also have the passion and the, the motivation and the interest to take care of our community as well as anywhere else that you may want to venture to once you uh, graduated from the programs. All right, in our short-term certificates for the School of Health Sciences, we're looking at several of them. Phlebotomy being one of our shortest. Phlebotomy is simply drawing blood. That particular person can work in a hospital, they can work in laboratories, or at blood banks, or different types of, of medical facilities, etc. That program is one semester. Uh, along with that, you're looking at other programs such as our emergency medical technician program, our health informatics specialist, massage therapy. Now those are basically one semester to two semesters long. Our emergency medical technicians, they can work in the emergency rooms, they can work in cl clinics, and they also can work on ambulance. So those are the EMTs. They are pretty much the people who want that excitement every day. There's always going to be a different situation for them. And that's the entry into our paramedic program. And I'm going to talk about that as well. And I want to, I'm not skipping, but I want to go through that. From the EMT program, a student can go one semester for that and then transition into our paramedic program, which is one year. Uh, the paramedic program is a little bit more extensive because it's a one-year program, but they too can work in an emergency type atmosphere as well as on an ambulance. Also, EMTs and paramedics can make the transition into our fire academy, which is offered at the North Campus. Now, they can go from EMT into the fire academy, or they can do both EMT and paramedic prior to going into the fire academy. Either way is okay we recommend that they start to apply for the fire academy while they're in EMT and they can make the decisions as they go along. The other one, the health informatics specialist is one of our newer programs. The health information, uh, information specialist is a person who works with the electronic records. Now in most of our hospitals and doctor's offices, they're moving away from the paper and pen approach and moving more into the electronic atmosphere where they're putting inputting all of a patient's information into an electronic system so that it will be easier tracked and say for instance if that patient has to leave the city or the state for whatever reason wherever they go if something happens they can pull up their healthcare records simply by a touch of a button so this is becoming a very popular uh, career career choice and once again it's only two semesters. Our massage therapist also is two semesters along with medical assistant and medical coder biller each of those are one year in length. Uh, medical assistant obviously can work in any type of healthcare facility and the medical coder biller is simply translating information into a numerical numbering system. So those are all short-term programs. Now, how would a student get into one of those? Well, basically, you would have to either graduate from high school or obtain your GED. Either one of those would be fine. And by 
applying to Miami-Dade at that point you would take an entry-level test and also an introduction to healthcare course. After that, you're eligible to apply to those programs. Now for the emergency medical technician and the paramedic program, you would not take the same entry level test. However, the process is the same other than the testing and they also do not need the introduction to healthcare. So it's just to give you an idea of what those short term programs are. And as I said, those are usually for students to get certified to go to work in entry level jobs or if that position simply requires that they be licensed in that area. It uh, allows them the opportunity to get out into the field, get some exposure and experience. Now from there we're going to look at our degree programs in the School of Health Sciences. Our Associate of Science degree program includes the ones that you see our clinical laboratory, dental hygiene, diagnostic medical sonography, and the total package of the EMS, uh, which is the emergency medical services. Now, with our associate in science degrees, which is a little different from the short-term certificates, students have to do what is called prerequisite courses, meaning they will have to take a set of courses prior to applying to our programs. Those courses may include sciences as well as your general education core courses such as English, uh, critical thinking, speech, uh, and mathematics. So you want to make sure that you know the difference between the two. In these programs as well, students have to graduate from high school or obtain their GED and apply to Miami Day. Now with the Associate in Science degree, there are two separate applications one that would go towards the college and the other that would be specific for the program. That is once prerequisite courses have been completed and you're eligible to apply to that program. We are a limited access campus, meaning that we only accept a certain amount of students per term. So you have to make sure that you have all of your prerequisites completed along with a uh, recommended grade point average for each of the programs. Now all of them vary a little bit. There is some overlapping of courses. However, for the most part, uh, they have different requirements. So you want to make sure that you either come in to speak with an advisor. You also can look up our information on our website at www.mdc.edu slash medical. And if you do that, you will see the, the different prerequisites that are required for each program. Now the college itself offers two types of degrees. The Associate in Science and the Associate in Arts as well as our bachelor's degrees. But the two uh, types of programs, the Associate in Science and the Associate in Arts, the difference between the two is the Associate in Arts which is provided and offered at all of our other campuses uh, is meant for students to get their first two years out of the way in order to transfer to a four-year institution. Or now that we're offering bachelor's degrees, they can also remain with us and complete their final two years for their bachelor's degree. The Associate in Science, however, which is here at the medical campus and these programs that I'm sharing with you now, that degree prepares you to go to work. So most of the programs that I'm talking about now are preparing our students to go to work. What happens with that is not only do the students get coursework in classes, they also have the opportunities to do clinicals and laboratories. Our clinical settings are in hospitals and doctor's offices throughout Miami-Dade County and those students get experience, exposure. They also make contacts with uh, members of the healthcare facility so that at the conclusion of their program they have made contacts for, an, for employment and that's very important so we want to keep that in mind. I want to continue with the Associate in Science programs. Um, we're also going to look at the Health Information Management, Histologic Technology, our Nuclear Medicine program and our Vision Care program. Now with our Vision Care and our Dental Hygiene program not only do those students have their clinicals and laboratories but one of the beautiful things about it is Miami-Dade College Medical Campus has its own clinics for dental hygiene and vision care, which means our, patient, our students see patients 
throughout the day. So it gives them the opportunity to get as much practice as they need to get. They get the experience that they need in order to sit for their um, license. And that is, is something that we're very proud of. Both facilities are state of the art. Our students have uh, the utmost qualifications. They're also supervised by obviously their professors. Uh, but most of our clients enjoy uh, coming to us and I can say that most of the time we're book solid so that's a that's a good sign that we're doing a good job and our students especially are doing a great job with the patients. Other programs that we have in our Associate of Science is our Physical Therapy Assistant, our Physician Assistant, Radiography, Respiratory Therapy, and our Veterinarian Technology. Now a little bit about the Physician Assistant. A lot of students want to go on to become doctors this is a great way for them to begin their training with the physician assistant. Uh, they're actually able to see their own patients. They can write some prescriptions. So they really have a, a wide array of, of benefits of becoming that physician assistant. Obviously they are in the supervision of a physician, but they get so much experience. And if they want to continue on to get their bachelor's degree in a science, and apply to medical school, this is a great opportunity and a way for them to get all the uh, pre-requirements that they need for those programs. So it, it's very lucrative for them. Uh, our radio, uh, radiography program is dealing with x-rays. and We have three tracks of that. We have the radiography, the diagnostic medical sonography, and the nuclear medicine. All three of those are our imaging programs. Uh, diagnostic medical sonography is an ultrasound, a nuclear medicine, and then the, the umbrella of it all is the radiography. And of course our veterinarian program, um, that's taking care of our animals, our pets. Um, we now have on the campus different animals um, that our students have the opportunity to work with in our laboratories and it gives them that experience and exposure to work under the supervision of a veterinarian. Uh, we do have one bachelor's degree program in the School of Health Sciences. This is the Bachelor of Applied Science in Healthcare with a physician assistant option. Now this program is a transition from the one I just spoke about. Uh, the Associate in Science and Physician Assistant, once that student completes the program and gets their license, they are eligible to transition into the bachelor's program um, for the physician assistant as well. Once that is complete, then they could go on to transfer to a university for the master's degree in the physician assistant. So what these programs allow you to do is have levels and entry level points that you can complete um, and actually be working in the industry while you're continuing your education. A lot of the, the programs such as the bachelor's and physician assistant allow that student not only to work on the floor but to also allow them leadership and management type positions. So you're always looking for upward mobility when you're thinking about taking these programs. I want to switch over from there to our School of Nursing. Now our School of Nursing is for students to become registered nurses. Uh, we have three tracks uh, in our Associate of Science degree programs. We have our generic nursing program, our bridge program, as well as the accelerated option. Now the difference in those three programs is the generic program is for students perhaps coming straight out of high school or coming back for a new career and they really have no experience in the area of nursing or healthcare. So they're just starting out brand new. But at the completion of this program, they will be allowed to sit for the state board to be licensed as a registered nurse in the state of Florida. So this gives them the opportunity to go out and work, whether it be in a doctor's office, in a hospital setting, et cetera, home health care. They can do any of those with the license as a registered nurse. The Nursing Bridge program is for those students who already have healthcare experience and, a, and they are certified, such as a licensed practical nurse, a respiratory therapist, a paramedic, 
or even a military medic could come into our bridge program which basically says if they've completed that certificate they can come to us complete the prerequisites for nursing and bridge into a one-year RN program so it allows that student once again completion points if they've already completed a certification we will allow them to come in and complete the degree in a shorter length of time the same thing with our nursing accelerated program that is for the student who already has completed a bachelor's degree in any other area and they want to come back for a new career and nursing is what they've chosen then they too would be allowed to come into a one-year nursing program uh, to be certified as a registered nurse now all three of these tracks require that a student take prerequisite courses first which includes their uh, natural sciences anatomies chemistry and microbiology as well as their core courses of English critical thinking speech uh, college algebra and human growth and development those are the prerequisite courses for our nursing program there is also an entry-level test that has to be complete prior to applying to nursing and we now have a new test uh, in the past it was called the T's test now we uh, are offering a new test which is the NLN uh, PAX test that is a pre-admission exam that is required for students and basically our selection process is that a student complete all of their prerequisite courses as well as that pre-admission uh, exam requirement in order to be eligible to apply to the program. Now, we also have our nursing bachelor's degree. It's the bachelor's degree of science in nursing. This too, as with the bachelor's degree for the physician assistant, is a transition course. This program says that a student is already a registered nurse in the state of Florida in order to be eligible to apply to this BSN program. They must be licensed already as a registered nurse and then they transition into the bachelor's degree which is approximately another year and a half uh, for them to complete. With the completion of that program it allows that student management, once again management type um, positions within the healthcare facility and the student can also go on from the bachelor's degree to the nurse practitioner which is a master's level. They would transition into an upper level university for that particular program. So once again all of these programs allow students the opportunity to sit for their state board to be licensed as a registered nurse and go to work in the field. It makes it nice for students simply because when we think about going to college, students often want to get into their programs quickly. These programs provide you with the opportunity to not only study in the classroom, but to also go out into the industry while you're doing your clinicals and laboratory work and get that experience that is needed and that keeps you interested and it also gives you an opportunity to make sure that this is exactly what you want to do because you have hands-on responsibilities and that is key for so many of our students. Okay, as I'm talking I'm noticing that there are questions that are popping up and I want to make sure that I get to as many of your questions as possible. One of the questions that um, there everyone is asking is what are the prerequisites for nursing? And as I said in the beginning, those prerequisites include your sciences and your core courses as well as the NLN PACS exam. Students must complete those in order to apply to any of those three tracks of nursing. And I'll go back again just so that you can see them. The nursing generic, the nursing bridge, or nursing accelerated. All three of those require that the student complete prerequisite courses as well as the pre-admission entry test. So that's important. Another question that I'm getting are application deadline dates. And the answer to that is yes. There are application deadline dates. So in other words, once a student applies to Miami-Dade College 
and they're accepted into the college. At that point, they start taking their prerequisite courses. At the completion of those prerequisite courses, they would have to submit an application to the program. And that is important because there are deadline dates for most of our programs. Uh, give an example for nursing. The deadline dates are if a student is uh, eligible to enter the program for the fall term, which starts in August, the deadline date is May 1st. If they're going to come in in our spring term, which is, starts in January, the deadline date is always September 1st. It's important that you meet those deadline dates and that all of your prerequisites be complete by those deadline dates in order for you to be eligible for um, us to look at you for the program. Now, some of our programs in the School of Health Sciences, they require that you take prerequisites as well, as well but some of them you can do concurrently, meaning some of your prerequisites can be done while you're in the program. But you want to try and make sure that you complete as many of, of them as possible so that you put yourself in a position to be accepted into the program. So if everything is complete, your grade point average is up, you, then you're more than likely going to be extremely competitive for acceptance into one of our programs. Now, another question that I'm getting is, what about the waiting list? There is no waiting list for our medical campus programs. However, there is limited access, meaning we are going to only accept a certain amount of students per semester. So you want to make sure that you have everything complete and that your grade point average is the best that you can do. The higher your grade point average, the better your chances are of getting into program. When you look at programs such as our nursing program, the grade point average is critical. We accept students based 60% on the scores that they get on that pre-admission entry test, which is the NLN PACS test. 60% of our acceptance is based on that score. 40% is based on the natural sciences, your anatomy and physiology courses, your chemistry and microbiology. So please make sure that you get the best grades that you can possibly get in those courses in order to put yourself in a competitive position. You want to make sure that everything that you do you are taking extremely serious and that you're dedicating the proper time needed to get the best grades possible. A lot of times students make the mistake of trying to rush. So they take a lot of their prerequisites together and they don't have the time that is needed to do the best that they can in each of those courses. So my recommendation to you is that sometimes slower is better. It allows you the opportunity to Take it slow, get the best grades possible to put yourself in prime position to be accepted into our programs. But there is no waiting list. There is no list that we put students on and then the next semester we go to that list. We simply select students and if you're accepted into the program, you continue on. And if you're not accepted, you have the opportunity to reapply. So please make sure that you're doing everything that you need to do in order to put yourself in that position. Now, one other question that I have is, is it the same for the short-term programs? Well, our short-term programs are a little bit different. There is an application process. However, the deadline dates for those applications are sometimes uh, adjustable, meaning we will continue to accept students until we fill our class. So it's a little bit easier to get into those short-term programs because of the flexibility that we are offering to students. So it allows you the opportunity to get into the program and go from there. So a little bit different, but there is an application process. You always want to check with an advisor here at the medical campus to find out about deadline dates, to find out about completion of prerequisite courses, all of that is important that you meet with an advisor here at the campus or even at the other campuses 
Now, one question that I see popping up is, can you take your prerequisites here at the medical campus? And the answer to that is no. Prerequisites are offered at our seven, well, actually six other campuses and two centers. Miami-Dade has seven campuses in total and two centers. The prerequisites can be taken at any of those campuses or centers except for here at the medical campus. So you can basically select a campus based on location of your uh, job or location of where you live, any of those campuses. And you can also mix and match. You may want to take one at one campus and one may be available to you at another campus. You have the option to do that. So any of those campuses you can take the prerequisites at and you'll be fine. Um, the students that come here are in-program students, meaning they've already completed everything and been accepted to the campus. And then they come into our degree programs. Now, if it's a short-term certificate program, after taking uh, the entry-level test and the introduction to healthcare, that student can come, if they're accepted into the program, can come directly here to the medical campus. So short-term programs, they can come here. Uh, Degree-seeking students will first take prerequisites at our other campuses or centers and then transition into our campus. So it just gives you an opportunity to get the full experience of Miami-Dade College, to uh, join any of our student activities or any of our groups or any of that. It gives you that full college experience before you come to the campus. Once you get here, you're going through the programs. You still can be a member of organizations. Uh, while you're going to school, we have our student government, which is extremely strong here at the college. Um, so students have the luxury of doing that as well as going through the program. But I will tell you that the programs are intense and that it takes a lot of dedication and motivation on your part as the student. So I want to make sure that you understand that. I also want to thank you for joining us today for this look at the medical campus and the healthcare programs offered here at Miami Dade College. We look forward to you becoming a student here and we will do everything that we possibly can to help you through our programs and all you have to do is come and ask and talk with us and we'll help you through them. Uh, if I've not answered some of your questions, we will be on the virtual chat today until 5 p.m. You are more than welcome to join us there and continue asking your questions and we will answer as many of them as possible. Uh, this concludes the presentation. I thank you for joining us and once again, opportunity changes everything. And in the healthcare field, opportunity changes lives. Have a great day and thank you.